Well, hi everybody. This is um, Ocarina of Time 4K by Henrico Magnifico and Nintendo. It's the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time. I'm here early because I finally got this working with the help of Bass Clef. And, uh, yeah, this, I, I had this on hold for a while. And I just, I guess I felt like maybe now was a good time to do this. The textures are basically, a lot of them have been redone from scratch. Hundr uh, several hundred have been retextured from scratch. Many others have been upscaled using AI upscaling. And uh, we got good resolution. And it looks fucking awesome. And so be sure to watch this in 160p. Was it a lot of trouble? A little bit. It's a little bit of trouble. Can you prove this is live? Hope that helps. Just in case you're wondering what's going on, um, I have two... See, here's the problem, is... It's gonna look so good... on its own, I almost don't want to, um you know, have that little screen on the bottom there. So I'm gonna try to use that as much as I can, but I'm gonna switch between the two, mostly. Um, oh, this is hopefully gonna be a full playthrough. Don't name Link Kapusi. I won't! Could just make the lower half transparent on the bottom right. Ah, that's gonna look like poop, too, I think. I, I can... Try different things, but at the moment, I think what I want to do is mainly full screen. Anyway, a tree is talking to us right now. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. <laughs> There's going to be a little bit of stuttering once in a while. Just because it has to load in, like, fucking 4K textures. They're not all 4K, as you can tell by that horse. No. no. Last time I played this was Master Quest. I haven't done original Ocarina of Time in many years. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. You think it's weird that the tree is the only one that talks like this? Or how about the frog being the only one that talks like that in Chrono Trigger? Navi the fairy, listen to my words. The words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy, without a fairy, to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. Number one. I don't know. I mean, hey, Nintendo doesn't want to remake this game or port the 3DS version over, so I'm going to play this one. But yes, while it loads big areas, there's going to be a little bit of stuttering. Um, it's not too bad. If anyone knows how to, like, eliminate that completely, let me know. But Citra is not in the best state. Also, I do own this game, and Majora's Mask 3D, just for anyone wondering. I, this is my own personal dump. Is 
Is my mic peaking again? Hello? Hello, Link, wake up. The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you, Link. Get up! Hey, hey come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? The Deckard tree? My my wife tree called me cold fish. Sushi. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. My textures on my wings are amazing. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going. Right now. Please wait a minute. I need to check on my microphone. Microphone's good. I always found it like weird. I mean, seeing Link now with all these, like, textures, look at these textures, my god. But seeing Link's hands, like, big, like, man hands, and, like, his weird boot animation when he walks... I mean, it's a little weird compared to the original version, which was on the N64, as you know, and also running at 20 frames a second. But I do think, overall, they did a fantastic job getting this game onto the 3DS, to the point where with some upgraded textures and resolution, this looks awesome. I mean, it's not like a Switch remake, but looks fucking good. Yahoo! Uh, Google, hi Link. And I also, I had issues with the controller, right? Oh no, the gyro is not working again. Oh no. I got something. I got gyro, I have no steam bullshit, and I have no weird HD rumble. Alright, Johnny, please cut! I'm gonna have to look for a more permanent solution before I play this next, but... Just... You know... Just give me a second here. Um, speaking of cut, let me throw that in full screen. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man! What, you've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What?! Why would he summon you and not the Great Midol? Oh, this isn't funny, I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're gonna go help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Mido growing up was my second most hated character in video games aside from Slippy Toad. And now I appreciate Slippy because at least he does something. He's fighting. You know, Slippy's up there with Fox trying to make a difference in the Lilat system. Just because he's got an annoying voice. You know, whatever. That's fine. What the fuck is Mido doing? Slippy's developing, like, submarines. Mido's just standing in front of a tree. At least this dude is trying to train, even though he's, like, pretty much Kenny from South Park. You can't even, like... It's like Fraggle Rock character. Hey, let's work on some moves. Again, I don't think there's any real way around the stuttering. I know there was a big decompile of Ocarina of Time for the PC. And with that, 60 FPS is possible. New textures are possible. It's... like 90% done. 
Shader cash packs can help with the stutter. <laughs> Ask Neryl how to fix Gyro on this. I mean, I don't know him personally, I just watch his videos. The stutters are a one-time thing per effect. Yeah, I, I think... When things happen, you get like a brief stutter and then the, the you know, Citra just gets used to it. Gyro on Citra can be done with DS4 Windows. Yeah, I mean, it, it said use Joy to Key. I can try that. Again, I'm open to various ways to make this experience better. I guess that's an unpickupable rock. Well, regardless, I think I've done enough troubleshooting for one stream, so I'd like now to just enjoy, if possible. And then, uh, before next time, hopefully I'll have a little bit of troubleshoot. Gold. Rupee? No, green rupee. If you're wondering, I have 21 rupees. Just so you know... Here's what I'm also seeing. So I have that at the, you know, bottom there the whole time. Will this be a full playthrough? I, I think so. It's been a while since I've played Ocarina. And after doing that beta content, I really wanted to do it. I don't know about a 100% run. Why no, no master mode? I'm pretty sure my previous master mode run is still on, like, full sauce. Chroma key the rupees to the top screen. Just so you can see rupees. I guess, well, hearts too, right? They could fix all of this with a switch port. They could do this and more, truthfully. I can't, like, make them not a little bit transparent, so... That's just gonna be what it is, I think. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. Hang on, I, I just... See if I can get this a little bit better. I mean, I kind of like a full-screen version of this way better than having a little screen on the bottom that, like, ruins the, the fun. Because this is... I'm playing this in full-screen right now, and it looks awesome. And I want to see, like, the full graphics. 
Jara. That's 40 rupees. The touch screen gives two extra bu buttons, which is cool. I have the buttons bound to... I have the touch screen bound to buttons. So I don't actually need to use the touch screen at all. Uh, again, thank you, Base Clef, for helping out with this, because I was lost on a couple things, but... I mean, it's not too difficult to set up, but then I managed to fuck it up, and then I got confused, and then... Oh! And then Base kind of, uh, helped out. Base also makes good music. Which controller are you using? I'm using the Switch Pro controller for Gyro, because I tried to use my 8-bit though, and it just kept taking screenshots of the game. And I tried to troubleshoot that like 10 times, and I just gave up. And then the fucking Gyro doesn't work on this because it wants Steam to configure it, so that became its own brand of dumb. I mean, the game is perfectly playable without the gyro, but it makes aiming with a bow so much fucking easier. Hey Link, do you ever think how weird it is that a Sheikah stone is just, like, outside your house? PS5 controller can work, too. Oh, I don't have one of those. I've seen the restoration project for Majora's Mask. From Majora's Mask 3D in particular. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm glad these projects exist. Ah, what's that? You only have a Deku shield. A and what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Ah, shoot. How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku tree, huh? I'm gonna stomp off. I'm gonna become shaggy and have a dog that talks to me. I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to use the sword with the right control stick. Which is not how that works. But after all the Skyward Sword HD I played, I'm gonna try to do that, like, a bunch. Until I... Until I just remember not to remember that game anymore. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. Go inside me. I have been cursed. I need thee to break the curse with thy wisdom and courage. Dost thou have the courage enough to undertake this task? Then enter, brave Link. Thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, press the button on the screen to ruin all immersion.
Luigi, no wonder you're feeling weird, Deku Tree. There's a fucking spiders inside you. What, you don't have spiders inside you? That's how our blood is carried from the heart to various extremities. They're called vein spiders. Listen, I took chemistry. It really does look great. Like, again, the textures, like, some of these are just AI, AI upscaled. And some are... redone. Entirely. But I think the whole thing... comes together nicely. Um... It's cool that the 3DS comes with this feature. Always a big fan of 3DS's having cool features like that. There's gonna be a lot of hey listens. What was that? You want to see some Matrix? how Neo sees video games. Like, after... You know, they don't have video games in the real world in the Matrix. So he has to go into the Matrix to play Zelda. But since he became the one, this is all he sees. Oh man, these graphics suck now. Link, you have to defeat Ganon. I know where the Boston is. I know, I know, Navi. Another good thing about, um, Ocarina of Time 3D, as opposed to the original, is that the text goes a lot faster. Ow, forgive me, Master. If I give you a tip, will you let me go? When you jump off a cliff, if you hold forward, you'll roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. Like I tried to do off of a garage when I was a kid. I rolled forward to not take damage, and you know what? I'm still in a neck brace to this day. I'm- I'm alive. Again, someone in chat said they know how to- they- they kind of know how to get rid of the stutters. So... Maybe not all of them, but, you know, to a degree. Thank you, uh, chat member. So... Hang on a minute. Um, how do I equip this? I'm gonna equip this to... Yeah, so check this out. You see how it's on the touchscreen? If I press right... ...on the D-pad... ...I can do it. The problem is then you have to press right on the D-pad again to shoot. 
So, you probably don't want to put the slingshot on there. Now that I think about it, that seems like a pretty... pretty rank idea, so... That's the, like, that's the ocarina spot. Jara. Use R1 and R2. R2, see what you could do back there. Actually, that's a great idea. God, it was worth struggling to get the gyro to work, because... It really is amazing. I mean, this was the game that pretty much started the whole gyro thing. This was several years before Splatoon. Um, I'm sure other games have used it before this, but Nintendo... ...really didn't fuck with gyro aiming until this game. And it worked great. Star Fox 3D did it. But not for, like, everything. Not for, like, where you can aim everything, right? I forget, actually. I don't remember Star Fox 3D, because I only played it once. Star Fox 64 3D. Oh, man, I threw the nut at the wrong time. Where am I? And thus, the Deku Tree would have to live with a dead child inside of his gut for the rest of eternity. Oh boy, that feels like indigestion. Verily. You think that's weird? Have you heard the theory that Link's mom is a tree in Kokiri Village? Listen, I don't remember it, and I've talked about it on stream before, but I'm just gonna tell you that you should type swanky box, Link's mom is a tree. Just do that, and, and check it out. Because I thought it was the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard, and then I watched the video, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, that makes a lot of sense. And there's some, like, kind of evidence in a comic book, which isn't canon, necessarily. But, I'm like, wait a minute. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, and yet I kind of buy it now. Well, Link's mom turned into a tree after dying in Kokiri Village. That's, that's what's going on here. What was a tree hut that Kokiri live inside of? So... Basically, the whole village has been inside, um... Yeah, but Link's mom is, is probably not a tree, I wouldn't... I wouldn't think about it too much. Just, just watch the video, though, when you get a chance and tell me what you think, because it is absolutely bizarre. But also, weirdly kind of convincing. Jara? This must be the earliest that Vinny has ever been going live. No? I remember waking up at 9am to do something Smash related, and then I went back to bed disappointed. Wow, those gold sculptures look amazing. Yeah, never again was my for and then you know what? Now I wake up sometimes at 9 a.m. anyway. Lately I've been waking up more like 10:30. So not exactly like human schedule. But a little bit better than 2 p.m.
So, here's a problem. If you guys want to see the map, that's going to be a little bit difficult. So, th this isn't going to be a perfect playthrough. Like my folder of over 500 perfect hogs. But for how good it looks, I'm pretty much convinced that it's worth it. Even that. It's worth even that. Gold spatulas. Gold scatulas. I've heard Skulchula, I've heard Skatula. I, I don't think Skatula is... that sounds like something I would make up, so I'm gonna say it's Skulchula. God, it looks really good. The lighting is nice. Now, there is a 60 FPS. Um, version of this, but it, like, crashes when you enter a... when you roll or something, or enter a, a small area where you crawl through. It's not great. Unfortunately. So... I opted out of the 60 FPS experience. I didn't think it would be worth it, and... you know... Compared to the 20 FPS that this game originally was, I think I'm pretty happy with 30. Lots of aspects are tied to frame rate, like items disappearing. Well, again, there's a decompile of Ocarina of Time that I've been made aware of that is 90% done. Now, I couldn't hold off any longer because that could be like up to another year before we see something like an improvement, like Mario 64 Render, render 96. So I figured, fuck it, let me play this because I really want to play Ocarina. And now's a good time for it, just before Elden Ring and Kirby. And I'm finished with a bunch of other games. Perfect. You'll never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. Yeah, punish me. 23 is number one. I said that's a thing you never forget. Anecdotally. Iconic video game quote. Got something for you. So I love the pacing of Ocarina of Time. I think this game is p paced really, really well. You get a little uh, Kokiri Forest tutorial. It's minimal. You get your sword, you get your shield, you can talk, learn about the world a little bit. Here's some whimsical music. Then you talk to a tree and you go inside the tree. And then you're in a dungeon. And it's like you learn on the fly, basically. You're not, like, hoarding cattle. Or, uh, wrangling cattle. You're not doing menial tasks and finding, like, 17 fish that you have to turn into 17 loaves of bread or something. It's really nice. You, you really get a chance to learn as you go. And then, if you need, Navi will teach you. And then you're in Hyrule Field. Um... Whoever's giving me advice in chat, I, I can't read all that right now. And it's it's gonna be lost on me. Because, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna remember. Use the contact form. Vinesauce.email will help you help me. And then I can maybe, uh, check out some of those things. The, 
dot cock. Vinesauce.email.cock at clownpenis.fart. Go there, and that's where you'll be able to use the contact form. Have you thought about Breath of the Wild 60 FPS? Yeah, I mean, I thought about checking it out, but I also don't think I want to do another full playthrough of Breath of the Wild anytime soon. It's a great game, but once you experience the world, that's one of those games I wish I could erase my memory of and play again from scratch. But for a game like Ocarina, this is like comfort food. This is like junk food for me. Like, going back to Ocarina of Time... It's nice. Especially if I haven't played it in a long time. And I think... Last time I played this... Maybe five years ago I streamed it. Four years ago, it was like Master Quests. But, like, proper... Just go through Ocarina and enjoy the world and story. Years. Like, way longer than that. Aside from a randomizer. And you know what? I've been... a little uh, unhappy lately because I've had health nonsense. Minor health nonsense. Um, I've, it's been, it's winter, it's gross out. I have post-album release syndrome, which is like, oh, that thing I worked on for a year and a couple months of my life is now done. So that's it then, huh? <laughs> this is just what it is. It's fine. I'll be okay. But with the winter, you know, post-holidays, I needed a little bit of uh, junk food that isn't real-life junk food. So I figured Ocarina of Time would be a good way to help with that. Well, I try to I try to keep busy. Like, I'm, you know, always working on music. I'm, I like making videos. I got a lot of games to play. I've uh, been cooking a lot. I think I need to do some fucking ring fit. But other than that, I'm, I'm trying. But then there are, there are definitely days where your brain hates you. More than other days. But, you know, it gets better as you get older, too. You just... After a certain point, you just kind of... ...put things into perspective more. Well, that's why I did VR yesterday. I wanted to do something at least a little bit more physical. And I was going to do Ancient Dungeon again. I played Compound last night, which got a lot of updates. And it is very good. Iconic video game line. 23 is number one, so let me attack the first one first. Consider trying out Hitman VR. No, because then I'd have to buy Hitman 3. And the truth is, I don't really... Um, I've heard that it's jank as fuck. I mean, it would be fun to play janky Hitman for a little while, but I, I don't think it would be worth playing. If I ever get Hitman 3 in the future, like, let's say I'm in the mood for more Hitman, then I'll try it. Like, a while from now. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you in order to administer, administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma. Strike with your sword when she's stunned. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. 
I don't think I would want to play an entire Resident Evil game in VR, aside from Resident Evil 4, but even then, someone said, would you go back and play Resident Evil 7 in VR? Eh. I don't find VR particularly comfortable, is my problem with it. I like being able to, like, just chill and play, like, um, VR chat, you know, whatever. And, uh, there are some games that are way easier to play in VR, but, like, it just depends on, on the game. Like, Half-Life Alex is a very comfortable game to play all the way through, and some some games feel a little bit more like... I remember uh, Boneworks was, was as cool as that game was. That game was kind of uh, a hassle to play. Having a, a 3D body in VR can be amazing, and it can also be like a complete fucking nightmare at times. But at least that's just my opinion. That said, that compound game, I think, is great. And they did a lot of quality of life and polish stuff. And I think it's maybe one of the better VR roguelites. It's fantastic. Yeah, Deku sticked. I'm also excited for the future of VR headsets that are going to be lighter and more comfortable. And I don't even find the Steam one, the Valve one, um, the Index, to be all that uncomfortable. I'm just excited for the future of VR. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. Well done, Link. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Mr. Data? Now I have yet to tell, or more to tell thee, wouldst thou listen? No! <laughs> now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me, This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Where'd they come from, though? Who created the goddesses? Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Ah, Deiru's Findel. And Faror, the goddess of courage. Uh, obviously, there was some kind of song in the beginning of time. They started like, they were like orbs of light that sung to each other until they became real and created uh, the, the Earth. Eru Iluvatar, I believe, yes. With her strong flaming arms, created land and stuff. Yeah, it's loading new areas. It's, it's, it's stuttering. Oh well. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the Earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Furor, with a rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law.
these three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. Golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Imagine, creates triangles, leaves, refuses to elaborate. The sacred triangles became the basics of the world's providences, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Castle Hyrule. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take the stone with thee, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast a curse upon me. Do you need me to repeat all of that? Yes and... Or... Maybe yes? Or... No, please. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Thou... Shouldst thou ever lose thy way, seek a vision of the path from the Sheikah Stone that stands beside thy home. Nary the... Nary... <laughs> Nary the Favi. Navi the Fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat thee, Navi. Goodbye. That's the sound of a tree dying. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. There's a lot of sacred trees in video games in the 90s. Like, there's the mana tree from Secret of Mana. There was an, uh, the sequel to that. There's this game. I'm sure there were more. Hey, Link, what did you do? The Great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you let a thing like that happen? It's all your fault! Well, Yggdrasil... Sure. Well, it's Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> Mido's very upset. Did something happen to him? Yeah, I killed your tree. I killed your tree god. Tell him it was me. I did it. Hang on, we need to do the speedrun tactics. Oh yeah, the, the Lifea tree from Final Fantasy IX. Oh, you're leaving. Note that she can do that. Note that she can do that. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? Look at these little sausage fingers that I have. Uh, I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. Link. My hair is actually lettuce. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. I like the way Link just runs away from her. He backs up and runs away. Which, I mean, you could laugh at, but, like, Link is a kid. And he probably likes her a little bit. And he's, he, just, he doesn't know what the fuck to do. He's, like, sad, and he's running from his emotions. That's the way I interpret it.
Or he just hates her. I don't know. God, I love this Hyrule Field theme. Hoot Hoot, Link. Oh, you were enjoying the music! Oh, too bad! It appears the time has finally come to you to uh, start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. If you go straight this way, you'll see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. If you don't know where to go next, try heading to one of the locations marked with a flashing dot. Did you get all that? No is the default option. Yes. All right then, see you around. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It just explodes. Man, P Hat's got upgraded from older Zelda, older Zelda games. But yeah, this looks great. You know, you know what game this kind of looks a little bit better than? Arceus. Which has received reviews and lots of impressions. And you know, again, I'm not going to go into this in detail. And pokey defenders and haters, please just, just step away from the keyboard. Because it gets annoying, but some places are giving it like 9 out of 10. I mean, they're reviews. They're paid reviews. Some of them, maybe. But, um... They say it looks like trash, but that it's fun. And it's maybe, from a gameplay standpoint, actually good. So, I'm gonna wait a little bit, but I may pick it up, and I may record a little bit of it, if I do. And just see if it's any good. Because, and you know what, if I don't like it, then people will just agree with me, and then the other half of the people will shit on me. But, uh, I don't care. I mean, I kind of want to see if it's a good Pokemon game that isn't the same Pokemon game I've played 10,000 times. So, it'll be out in a couple days, and maybe I'll play it. But, um, one thing I know for sure is this. Even if I enjoy it, I will be called a paid Nintendo shill. Um, <laughs> and if I don't enjoy it, then I'll be called an Xbox shill or something. So, I'm looking forward to the the mental torment that will come from playing Arceus. But it does look like hot garbage, and... at the very least, though, I'm happy that they're trying something different from a gameplay perspective. And, uh... I'll let you know if I pick it up. Well, I mean, you'll see if I pick it up. I'll either stream it or just make a video on it. Yeah, like I said, I don't think any rational human being cares, Vin. Oh, it's not the rational human beings that I worry about. Just in general, really. Rational human beings don't watch this channel. No, there's plenty of rationals in chat.
I remember thinking the day-night cycle for this game was so cool. And now I'm like, why did days last three minutes? Someone said, I can't wait for Vinny to bug test Arceus. Yeah. If I play it, you can guarantee I'm gonna find glitches day one, second one. Ooh. But, uh, just for the record, he here's my Pokémon pedigree, some of you may know. Aw, oh, goddammit! No! No, no, no! Aw! Oh. I had Pokémon Red. I played... Sun and Moon, X and Y. Uh, <clears throat> new Pokémon Snap. I didn't play Sword and Shield, I didn't play the remakes that just came out. I got addicted to Pokémon cards last year. I went to a support group. I got help for it. Um, the support group was called Pokémon Fanbase. And, uh... No, it was called Scalpers Inc. And I realized that it was a hobby that was actually, like, not even worth... ...all the dopamine it was giving me, because it was, it was so frustrating. And, uh... And that's about it. I mean, I, I like Pokémon. It, it is the number one media franchise in the world. So, people like it quite a bit more than I do. I, I like it. Vinny, did you meet Moist Critical? I've never met Moist Critical. I have played games with, uh, Charlie. I've played- I've met Dry Critical. No, I've played games with Charlie, I have, um, spoken to Charlie a bunch, and I think he's one of the best dudes. Like, just on a friend level. You know, I don't watch all of his stuff, I don't- I know he talks about a lot of spicy things. Um, but I do appreciate a lot of his, uh, rationality. And he's just a good dude who, every now and then, we keep up with each other and we just keep in touch. But I can't really keep up with everyone's stuff. Like, I watch a little bit of Germa stuff from time to time. I watch a little bit of Rosses and Krikens just as much as I can. But I don't really... I can't keep up with everyone's stuff while I'm busy making my own. There you are. Man, I'm so bored. Things would sure be more interesting if there were more troubles in the world. Hey, that's just between you and me, okay? Anyway, maybe we can let off some steam by breaking some jars. Stand near a jar and press A to lift it. Press A again to toss it. Remember that statement for later on in the game. And I will return to this room, and we will discuss. Well, later he becomes a, like a pimp or a prostitute or something. What happens? Something weird happens. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Never mind. I think he, he, like, compliments Link's ass. Like, when Link is older. I don't know, I forget exa- I have to... I, I remember details, but I get them wrong. What a crazy guy. Can you believe this guy was crazy enough to try to sneak into the castle to see Princess Zelda? All because of this idiot, they've tightened security at the castle. What an asshole, huh? Oh. Uh. Don't I get a free Hylian shield later? <gasps> Excuse me. I heard rumor that there's a monster that eats Hylian shields. Somewhere out there in the world. Have you ever seen it? 
under a grave in the graveyard. There's a rumor going around that there's a potion shop that can make the ultimate medicine. Is it just me, or is the, the remix of this song have, like, really heavy bass? <laughs> Castletown looks fantastic in 4K. Well, I say 4K, this is more like 1080p. Just the textures are obviously upscaled and resolution's good. Are you going to tell the cousin story at the water temple? God, I don't even know if I remember all the details. I know that's where I first told the cousin story. I don't... Listen, uh, keep in mind I'm not going to be streaming this whole game. Some of it I'll be doing in pre-recorded form. And while that may... Uh, ruffle some feathers... I mean... I'll still be playing it. Okay, so here's where some of the AI upscaling gets a little crusty. Um, those pictures in particular. Look at the dog. Dog looks okay, but the the ones around it not so great. Oh yeah, I forget Lank L Lank gets stanky foot from time to time. You can see like one frame of Link's leg not really making a whole lot of sense. I'm so happy the pre-recorded crust backgrounds were done in 3D. Seems strange that packs of dogs roam our streets at night. Doesn't that seem weird to you? It's just like in Talladega Nights. Hey, wha uh, wha what's wrong with loitering around all day, huh, kid? Nice bottles you got there, friend. Did I say pre-recorded backgrounds? Oh, I guess that was on my mind. I meant pre-rendered. Hmm. Oh, even better face. Gyro makes this... A lot easier. I think I did this in uh, the randomizer and I was like dreading it, but. It's pretty good here. Ah! Imagine without Gyro how bad I'd be doing. You like it to juice, huh? <laughs> this clown music will be the next 15 minutes of your life. Yes! 
Yes! Nice. C can I have the sword on the wall? That's kind of cool. Is there- someone just said that guy is an NFT. Every time I play a video game, that sacred letters- cursed sacred letters comes up. Um... Is Jimmy Fallon gonna promote it and go- Yeah, <laughs> Uh, is there another thing I can get from this? I'll try one more time. Only rupees? Oh. Here's a fantastic present. Hey Link, this way! Princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho, 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 ho. On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still when you're in Lon Lon Ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? Hoot, hoot, hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? Yes. Or nunt. N-O-N-T. Someone said this game has a bad case of irritable owl syndrome. That's a plus two from me, I think. That's cool. I like that. So you say you want to see Princess Zelda, eh? Well, you probably heard about her in town and decided you had to meet her. Well, go home. Get out of here. The princess would never grant an audience to the likes of you. All right, asshole. Hey, owl, can you reiterate what it means that time stands still? When I'm in a town, like time doesn't pass. What, what? What do you mean? That's kind of weird. These guards really don't know what they're doing. Leaving all these, like, blind spots. Why... Someone said, why is everything 4K but the HUD is dog shit? Because this... is why. I figured, let me get the full screen experience without the bottom right screen. And so I'm just chroma keying the hearts and rupees, and uh, it does look a little bit like dog shit. You can talk to the guard on the other side of the gate. Really? There's an HD HUD mod for the top screen. Really? Our ranch is so fun. Come on, look around. Oh, fuck, I don't have the egg. There is from Majora 3D. I don't know about OOT. Hey, you! Stop! You kid over there! How bad at your job do you have to be? Where there, like, there's just a child behind you. 
Hey, your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malon. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk and he hasn't come back yet. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. You got a weird egg. It smells strange. Did this come from Yoshi? Incubate the egg and then set the hatching to use it. My dad is really troublesome for an adult, isn't he? Hey, fairy boy, can you just sit on this egg? Trying to find the button for the for the egg. There's I don't know what button that is. It's bound to something. You have to wait till morning. Yeah. Yeah, I have to do some controller things, because I, I see some better ways to make this work. The, it's the miracle of life. I can't talk to the guard from here. one guy from time to time. <laughs> yeah, you can have butterflies land on your Deku stick. Except the button, the Deku Stick button is not bound at the moment, apparently. No, it's not a euphemism, you, you sicko. I'll just say it, the butterflies land on your cock. This one, I'll show you the chicken. You just gotta press the Y button, and then the butterflies will land on the chicken eventually. What, in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut-eye around here? Uh, how do I do a Chris Pratt voice? Oh, the AI upscaling on his face gave him eye crust. That was me. Like, before I went to the dermatologist, I had, like, red under eye. I, I was like, I looked like this dude. 
It's good now, though. I'm alright. No, I just had dry skin from the winter. This- this guy's got... He- I, I don't know what kind of cream you need here, but... Yup, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malin was looking for me. Oh, I'm gonna catch you from her, though. Messed up bad, leaving Malin behind, waiting for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Breath of the Wild, you would just use your powers, and these boxes will be moved in one second. Vinny is using his intellectual skills. I'm using all one of my intellectualities. I love and hate this music. I mostly love it, it just gets stuck in my head very easily. No? It's a bit penile, said someone. Finny, you have to wait until daytime? Oh. Played this game 50,000 times. I don't- I don't know how to escape the guards. I mean, hey, if Nintendo's not gonna celebrate Zelda's 35th anniversary properly, I will. Played Link to the Past. Playing this. I did Skyward Sword HD. Which... which was alright. Look at that. We're getting there. Almost daytime. They should release Breath of the Wild 2 this year to celebrate. I, I don't see a reality where Nintendo doesn't release Breath of the Wild 2 this year. Though they could delay it till next year with the Switch 2. But also have it be on the Switch 1. Because this is a thing that Nintendo has done. No, I, I absolutely can see Breath of the Wild 2 coming out this year. I said that last year, too, though. <laughs> True master of stealth. That Link Hyrule is... Worst guards. I 
I like that instead of the um, pictures of Mario this time. It's an actual scene from Mario Brothers. Right, there's the guard. Hey, you don't cause any trouble. <laughs> Throws bomb. What? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Wait, is that... a fairy? Then are you... are you from the forest? Then... then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? I have it. Just as I thought. Siri. Siri, we need to leave here now. They're after you, Siri. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. Suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I knew this was probably... Uh, sorry, it was a prophecy that someone would come from a forest, or the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zeld, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link? Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm gonna tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. <laughs> the legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule the power to grant the wish of one of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been foretold. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from the evil ones. Gollum and the evil ones crept up and slipped away with her. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. In order to open the door, it's said that you need to collect the three MacGuffins. Another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The title drop. Do you understand well the story I just told you? No, did you say McMuffins? That's great! I forgot to tell you, I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look at him? Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudo. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am not sure he... I am sure he's not sincere. The dark clouds that cover Hyrule in my dreams, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Ah, uh, don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. He wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. This is a theory, Zeld. I don't believe you. Did you say McMuffin? Thank you. I I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He's such a terrifying power. It is fortunate you have come. 
we must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing, take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Do not be afraid to talk to her. Well, how'd you get here? His lips are a little crusty. I am Impa of the Sheikah. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role is the princess's dream. In the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There's a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully, here's how it goes. Yeah, cool. It's a little crust on that audio. You've learned Zelda's lullaby. Too bad your fingers are stuck together and you can't play it. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up on Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember! It will help you prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Uh, I need you to bring me the stones. Someone said, don't believe in Zeld. She is Benny Jesuit. Oh. So, um, where, uh, I, I might be looking for a little bit of help with someone who has experience with print ads. I was contacted by a magazine who wants to feature our music, and they want to do a little ad for Redvox. Nothing major. If anyone here has any, like, experience in that field, if you could just send an email. It, it'll be not a highly paid gig, but it's a small, like, it's really small. It's not a, a huge ad at all, but like something that might look nice. No, it's it's uh it's <laughs> yeah. It's not Rolling Stone. <laughs> I am the boss of the carpenters who Impa hired to improve this village and make it into a true city, but young men these days don't have any ambition. You know what I mean, kid? My workers are just running away aimlessly around the village, and they're not making any progress at all. You serious? Even my own son won't work. He just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you. God damn it, Parker!
House of Scutulu. They must be Italian. We all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider in the world and the entire curse and the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear. Hey Link, did you know that that token is non-fungible? Non-fungible. Collect it as proof of your achievement. <laughs> The number next to this icon on the gear subscreen indicates how many spiders of the curse you have destroyed so far. Look for them not only out in the open, but also inside the dungeons. Of course, this is just our dream. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. If you break the curse on my family, we'll make you very rich. I don't know, it seems like this place has got some fungus in it. It is very crusty. But those textures... Good, good shitty graphics. <laughs> that guard just watched that happen and didn't do anything about it. remember this place looking cool. Like they added a lot of detail. Is this, this is Impa's home, right? It has to be. But why is she keeping a cow in a cage? In the house? Hey kid, you always enter other people's houses without permission? Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Oh well. Did you see a lady behind this house? She's going through hard times. Oh well. That lady asks you about cuckoos. You should listen to her. Is this, um, Impa's fuckboy? I don't even know if she lives here. Manslay! Oh yeah, Dee Dee. It is Impa's house. I mean, you would imagine so, all this stuff in there. Maybe he's just this, the, like, the steward of the house when she's gone. Yes. Hey. Is there a way to get that heart piece now? Is there a cuckoo on the roof? Oh, from the windmill. Right, right, right. Okay. I've watched so many shitty Zelda lore videos that I fall asleep to. About, like, just random things. And, like, um, you know, the, the horrors of the well. There's some really good subtext that might not have even been intentional. You can grab the ledge through the floor. How do you do that? As an adult only. But, yeah, no, there's some, some interesting stuff about that well, and, like, I don't remember the specifics, but it was, it was a good video. I think Zeltic did it, about, um, all the dead people under the town, and what it meant for, like, Hyrule, and maybe there's some, like, deep, dark secrets hidden within the lore. I don't know.
a job where you can make a lot of money without much effort. The only thing I can think of is thievery. Is that a bad idea? Uh, cool conversation. I'm not gonna say any- I'm not saying... Fungibal. I'm not! I laugh at the funny words. I don't even know how to get over there. So I can climb up the lighthouse to get my ten arrows. Earliest you can get that piece of heart is after the second dungeon. Bring the chicken in front of the windmill and jump from there. Oh yeah. One thing I learned from Boundary Break is that all of these rooms with the cool music and atmosphere are all loaded into the game's memory at the same time when you go in one of them. So if I were to like clip through the wall, there would be all the other ones just next to it. It's just one map, yeah. Do you remember the chickens in that western, the West Wild West mod I played for Half-Life, where they just wouldn't stop clucking? Not these bullshit. You cannot. No, these bullshit. I don't know. That seems like rhubarb to me. You're supposed to jump from the wood scaffolding? Jump from the scaffoldings by throwing it up the steps. Oh jeez, is it worth it for a heart piece? I mean, cause I could probably get that later. See, now I'm permitted to this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Because when you target, you roll, and when you don't target, you have to be in a very specific spot to pick it up. This is loud funny. That was loud funny cock. That's the trick. Whenever your audience is falling asleep, just do the loud funny cocks, and I swear to God... You know, if anyone here is looking to stream, there's your tip for the day. Grab it. Alright, we got it. We got it. Alright. We read that piece.
can't believe I did it. It's real. <sighs> Do I have the ability to help her now, too? We got here, like, at the ass end of evening. It's so red in Kakariko Village right now. My friend told me you can get the Triforce by attacking Cuckoos. Booty, my friend wishes for you to do the voice. I mean, this is optional. This isn't necessary. It's not like in um, Twilight Princess where you have to hoard goats. I keep saying hoard. Why do you want to hoard goats? No, you, um, wrangle goats. Goat in. Herd goats. What, what the fuck? How did I get herd and hoard? like, interchangeably incorrect. But I think maybe that person was hoarding goats, let's be honest. You don't need that many goats. Three goats is all you need for goat cheese. Did someone just paste their wordle in the chat and get fucking timed out for it? Future is now. Like I said in my Wordle video, it's no longer about Amogus. It's not about the fall, gentlemen. It's about words, man. We made them up. I also learned that Felch is spelled without a T. I'm wondering if someone can make me a Wordle emote with, like, a complete Wordle thing in just the, the space required. But... in the shape of a penis. No, don't do that. Bring back the last one. Hey, streamer. Someone said something like, I hear you love having emotes that violate Twitch's TOS. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a spaceship pointing up. It's going to the stars. It's not... bad. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. For helping me, I'll give this to you. Isn't it all sparkly and pretty? Please take good care of it. Actually, it is very sparkly. Wow, those are some nice graphics on that bottle. Original N64 graphics, the bottle was pointy. You could, like, stab someone with it.
It's time for Dumpy. Remember the beta graveyard compared to this? Well, you're not dampy. Little kids can't go on the heart pounding grave digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dumpy the graveyard keeper all day, but with my cute face up. I'm not heart pounding, am I? Don't cause trouble, I'll tell Dom. I'll tell Dominic. I thought time moved in the graveyard, I guess not. Hey, look, it's past Vinny. No, this is now Vinny. Vinny, you can get Sun Song now. Don't I need uh, Dumpy to, to dig it up first? Oh, right, right, right. You're right, I don't. Sorry, I was trying to play Seven Nation Army. We like Lens Flare. It's an E, but it's a low E. I need an octave up. Vinny, that's a D. That sounds like an E to me. Is that is that a D? It is D. Oh. Alright, so then we'll play Seven Nation Army in D. Musician here, by the way. Fuck, hang on. You know what? I believe you, chat member, but hang on a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I just got done banning the chat member for being right at music. Oh, yeah, no, they were right. Yeah, no, I, I was... Because... Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Fuck. That's an... that's an E. And then I can't go... to the... F-sharp. 
Also D? No, that's an E. I don't- uh, how do you tune an ocarina? <laughs> the point is, I don't think I can play Seven Nation Army. I'm sure there's a video of someone doing it, but I can't do it. I only know how to play Bappy songs anyway. This is where I do think there's uh, some arguments that some of the textures are too bright in Ocarina of Time 3D compared to the original. Like, you know, some of the, the dark mood of like the well and a couple other spots are maybe a little too bright. I agree. But then, we also get... Skulls. And... Skeletons. So I kinda like this as well. There was always skulls and skeletons, but they didn't look quite as good. Also, I think this looks cool. Um, I hated these things as a kid. Redeads. Oh. The poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, giving peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something else is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Hey, Yara. All the Ocarina songs are based on D pentatonic. Okay. So, like... So... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, it would make sense to keep it simple. But the fact that all the songs kind of have their own distinct flair, and they're still playable, like, by babies, is really cool. You know, for a fake instrument. <sighs> Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. I think I have an ocarina somewhere. Yeah, I mean, over the years... I've been sent ocarinas. I've had multiple ocarinas sent to me. Uh... I think I might have even bought one myself. It's just the ocarina in-game is not a real instrument. Because you're pressing, like, babby buttons. Can I light these? God, what do I need to play for this lad? Someday you will find me. 
Oh, thank you for playing Oasis. I just really wanted to hear that song one more time. Can you please play that one song I like so much? It goes mbop ba dippy dop dum um bop ba dum ba dop bum boom bop. Man, back in my day, music was so much better. There was no bad music when I was a kid. Mbop ba dippy dop bop boom bop. I need Dumpy to dig up a shield for me. Where is the Dump Lord himself? I can't- I can't find him. Isn't Dumpy supposed to be here? Oh, I think he's in his shack. Little shack of horrors. Dumpy shows up a little bit after nightfall. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. You don't need to dig, it's under one of the graves. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, the grave tour is for a piece of heart. Which I also wouldn't mind getting. Oh, there's a bomb, bombable wall here, too. Yeah, that was some great Hylian hero from a past generation. That was maybe even a previous Link, and I just fucking robbed his grave. I think he would want this Link to have it. Jara. What they meant to say was Ja Rule. Everyone in Kakariko, uh, sorry, in Kokiri Village, they're all just big Ja fans. Hi, boy. Is this the first time you visited this village? A great woman, Impa, opened up this village to us poor folk. Well, make yourself at home. The food isn't ready yet, though. It's beautiful! Those guys each do the work of half a man, but they still want a full man's portion. They're lazy slackers, I tell you! M meanwhile, they all live in this house with the, the owner and his wife. We gotta watch them fuck! Help! Uh, these guys have, like, really weird, like, veiny textures on their face. Maybe we didn't need an HD version of Ocarina of Time. road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Ah, oh, I see. You're just a kid and you can't read yet. <laughs> you fucking bozo. Oh, this is... Uh, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Let's see. Hmm, okay. Uh, this is Link. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> oh, 
kind of a funny game is our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death's Mountain, uh, Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It's an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell this shield you need there. Tell them I sent you. They should give you a special discount. If you don't think, or if you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask shop that just opened up in Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone's talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but, well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> what a terrible day to have a curse. Need bombs there. Wow, I'm one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. Blocks the entrance to Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day... Many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. No, Goron doesn't rhyme with moron for a reason. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Hey, did you just destroy our sign? That took us two years to write! Everyone has dry, itchy, crusty skin in this 4K retexture. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Hey, Link! Is Ganondorf the dark part of your heart? Oh, I'm standing here to shade this bomb flower from the sun. The plant growing over there is a bomb flower. It's a mining plant that grows only on this mountain. They usually grow only in dark places like caves, so bomb flowers that grow in a place like this are extremely rare. If you have a Goron's bracelet, even a little kid like you could easily pick one up with A. Uh. Not strong enough. Excuse me, Mr. Goron, how do I press A in real life? so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, Babongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in Babongo's Cavern. <laughs> that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. I want to eat the top sirline rocks from the Dongo's Cavern. Hey, dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. 
Anyway, is there something you want? Ask Big Brother about complicated things. If he's in a bad mood, he'll probably get mad at you. Uh, it can be kind of scary, but I know his secret. He may not look like the type, but Big Brother loves to dance. If he gets in a rhythm, he'll surely... I remember Big Brother used to always listen to the music that comes from the forest. Ah uh, yes, the good old days. The music makes me feel nostalgic, nostalgic too. If all the torches around here were lit up, Goron City would really liven up. I'm not mistaken, you came here to eat the redstone too. Well, too bad, it's not here. But that's not why you're here. Oh, you're looking for a spiritual stone. That means, must mean that delicious looking redstone that was once displayed above the city. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it one tiny little lick. So I snuck up there, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He says that everyone is after that redstone. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Are you the royal family's messenger? If you were, you'd have some kind of proof. Suck this dick. Suck this dick. I just ruined that song now. Hang on a second, I, I have to uh, figure out what I'm doing for a studio session. Also, Johnny, are you still here? I don't think, um... I don't think Mike is coming to the studio today. He's not, but we're gonna jam probably next week. I think we're gonna do a rerun tonight because I have an abundance of material. So, I'm gonna just ask Johnny to do a rerun later. What the heck? Who are you? Oh, when I heard the song of the royal family, I expected the messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Yeah. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Oh, now I'm really angry! Get out of my face! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient cavern! Creatures have infested Dodongo's cavern! I can't do another J. Jonah Jameson voice. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers, starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage, but that's a Goron problem. We don't need help from any strangers. You like my little song? I just made it up. I'm sure someone could play Stand by R.E.M. on the Ocarina, but I can't do it. Where am I going? Oh, I know where to go. So, I need to go back to the- can I go to the Lost Woods from here? Or do I need bombs for that? I can go back from here, right? I just need to light the torches. I 
have to find the one lit sconce, and then I can do it. There's fire in Darunia's room. That fire-eating son of a bitch. If I light all of these, I, there's like a thing that you get, right? Oh yeah. That starts spinning. Which I can't do anything with yet. It's a good trick though. see you again. Listen to this, Hoot Hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come across the Sacred Forest Meadow. This is a place where sacred place where few, few people have ever walked. I mean, what's that? You can hear, I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. Ooh, you want to hear what I said again? Yeah. Oh, after going through the Lost Woods, you want to hear that again? If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoot Hoot. Do you not wish to not hear that again? You're great, you scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. Speep. You can hold so much more nut now. Quite a nice session as a token of our friendship. Please take this. One rupee? One rupee? One rupee? Is there a heart piece from this? Yes, it takes forever. God damn it. R L R X I 
L. Yes. Good, you have five rupee now, please. Oh, that was almost copyright infringement. Lon Lon. Axel Lottle. Slow. X Lalor. X Lal. X Larry. is like it just it just brain rot r x y l <sighs> just skip just just skip Please stop. Please stop. I am cringing for you. L Ray. It's the new Metal Gear. L. R. L R A Y X. L R A Y X R. R A Y X R I got it this time. R L A L R A Y X R A R A Y X R A Y L R A Y X R A Y L R A Y Thank you, that was good. Good friendship. This time you get two rupees. Rupees. X-ray Larry. If I ever do a comic book, that will be my character, X-Ray Larry. 
God damn it. Wait, this is what I'm supposed to do right now, right? There's a quick kill for attacking its back. Yeah, there's no moblins here yet. That's later. There's only like three moblins in all, in the entire game anyway. You know what though? That one chat member was right. I think we lost like 200 viewers for that Ocarina minigame. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That, that's what I feel. If you play the ocarina with me, I can teach you to talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina? Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. I have a lot of practice at it now. Great. Great. Please don't forget the song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice play Saria's song, you can talk with me anytime. song that will get stuck in your head for a very long time, but it doesn't really matter. It's good. I like it enough that I don't mind. Koji Kondo was like a master at simple melodies that just... I guess I don't mind hearing repeated, which is kind of a challenge for video game stuff. A lot of video game songs have to keep you invested, or at least not annoyed. Someone said, holy crap, these graphics are crazy impressive. I think 
I think it looks great, but I've also seen someone, like a couple people join and say this looks like crap. So I guess it's just kind of the eye of the beholder. Is anyone a beholder in chat? Like a floating eye with tentacles? Hoo hoo! Did you learn an ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed, just like this. Hoot, 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 hoot. Oh, Hootie and the Blowfish here. No, I think it mostly looks good, but there's a couple spots where the textures get too close for comfort. Where I'm like, that's a little too, that's a little too crusty. But, I mostly like it. I mean, it's not perfect, but Nintendo's not doing anything with Ocarina of Time as far as we're aware, so this'll do. And yes, I'd rather have 30 FPS over 20 FPS. And I, you just kind of get used to it when you play Ocarina of Time. But the 30 FPS just makes the game a lot smoother and more fluid. I like it. With a stomach full of rocks. Oh! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Oh! Yeah! Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. But I'm Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire, too? Uh, the spiritual stone of fire, also known as Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not gonna give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I'll give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. It's not really giving you, not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a bomb flower using a. I'm gonna send this child into a dangerous cavern versus a fucking huge dinosaur. And that way, when the child dies, his death will be on my conscience forever. But I am made of rock and stone, so I don't give a fuck. Hey, Link, got something for you. Oh, no. Thank you. 
What if I got it in without looking? God, that would have been so cool. Did we need to block up this hallway this much? I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's gonna take a while. You can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? No. better bombs for this job. Oh, wow, you dick. There's no heart piece. Three rupees? You have to get the right face on it. Do the Gorons eat the rupees too? Yep, <laughs> <laughs> missed that one. Try another. said, I didn't even know you could get a wrong face. Someone else said, it's good game design. I mean, for how early in the 3D adventure game genre this game came out, they got a lot more right than they did wrong. But this is still kind of ass. Uh, let's see. Oh, you fuck. Vinny, it might be easier until you have regular bombs to do. Yeah, but that could be a whole two days from now, or more. Oh, I just have to get all the heart pieces the, the most difficult way possible. Because I am impatient. Yes! Just need one more, I think. You can get one early by backflipping over a fence. Are you talking about the one above Babongo's cavern? 
Stop the rolling Goron near the sign for a heart piece. That son of a bitch! Okay, this one's not nearly as bad as the one from uh, Adult Link. Why did you stop me? Don't stop me here. Don't stop me now. You can't stop my wild rolling. The wild rolling is the only way to relieve my stress. Now stand it off my wild, wild rolling. Okay, no, that's not happening. Near the sign? Wait, I have to stop him near the sign? I need the bomb bag, then. He has to be in the tunnel. Bomb bag. Big bomb bab bag fuck. I do have to- I won't be able to do Dodongo's Cavern today. I thought maybe I would have been able to do it, like, 25 minutes ago when we first got here, but... I underestimated how long it would take me to get here, so... I do have to go in a little bit, but it was fun. I, I don't know what made me- what compelled me to do an early stream today. I guess doing all the troubleshooting with base clef and then getting it to a state where it mostly worked. I was excited to play Ocarina. I was like, oh, you know what? That would be a, a fun early stream. I feel like this is a special enough game to do at least some of it live. So now I can do a backflip to get up the- how do I- If only Link was small enough to fit through those wooden things. If only. Nah, it's alright. A little exploding knees. Link is young. He'll be able to recover from the exploding knees, no problem. Why not do the whole game live? Um... I, I see what you're doing. I appreciate it. But... That would mean one Ocarina stream a week, or so? And then I would be done with this in about four months. Five months. Because I don't- I don't really want to go back to my original schedule yet. Or- I say yet, probably never. I don't think I'll ever be streaming four hours a night anymore. Um, two days a week is good for me right now, and I feel like that's important that I keep that for a while. Even if I end up doing a little bit more, maybe three, which could be cool, I want to work up to it, because I'm gonna tell you right now, um, I don't know how many people do the streams but, like, not taking a single day off a lot of times, and just going every day for four hours, it, it wasn't healthy. For me, like, mentally, for my ego, for, like, physically. So, this is, this is a lot better. Even if I do record a little bit, two hours a day, whenever I want, that feels correct. That feels right. So, this has been a lot better for me, as I've mentioned in the past. I'm just throwing bombs around for fun at this point. Don't mind me. There are some people that do like eight hour streams a day. And it's like... You know, if you can do that and still maintain a healthy balance in your life, I think that's cool. I, I just... You know, it was making me happy, but at what cost? 
there's that aspect of it. And there was a whole lot of other stuff too. But yeah, this is this has been good. Two days a week has been good. And if I don't have the ability to do a stream on a certain day, or if I can only do one a week, I just do that instead. And I think um, I think I like it better. So okay. Anyway, you get the point. Stream too much bad. Solomon Grundy mad. Anyway, thank you for watching. So hopefully I'll be able to work out some of the technical issues before I play this next. Uh, even so, voice crack. Even so, with a couple technical issues, this has still been great. I think mostly, like 90% of what they did here with the upscale has been better. And has been a fun way to revisit this game. I think it looks really good. I think playing the 3DS version with a high resolution has also been fantastic. Some minor issues like the UI and crusty rupee count, you know, that we probably can't get around. But it's really great to revisit the world of Ocarina of Time in what almost feels like a remake. Like a good one. And not just a small 3DS screen. So hopefully um, I'll be able to play some more of this. Again, I don't know how much of this I'll do live versus pre-recorded, but it is a kind of a long game. Even though I know it pretty well, this will probably be just an ongoing series whenever I get a chance to play. And um, I also have uh, another Hitman video on the way. I have some VR stuff. I know I have something else and I just can't remember what it is, but I think I'm going to ask Johnny to do a rerun tonight. So... Okay. Oh yeah, Halo. Halo as well, right. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. See you later. And thank you so much for continuing to watch and stop by and enjoy my stuff. See you next time. Ugh, weird noises. Ugh.